Hey, I want to talk about a couple of things in this video. Uh, they might be a little bit different related, but uh, try and tie them together. Uh, in in uh, Acts 19, it, uh, Paul is going through uh, Ephesus and he finds some disciples there, all right? Uh, disciples, you know, believers in Jesus. And he says to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? All right, and uh, now let me stop right there. It's interesting, uh, how can you believe, you know, there are many believers that think that when you believe in Jesus, you receive the Holy Spirit. You know, when it's like, uh, I, according to that scripture, there's the possibility that you don't necessarily receive the Holy Spirit when you believe. Because he said, when you, Paul, you can read it yourself, Acts 19, Paul, Paul says, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And their response was, we didn't even know that there was a Holy Spirit. You know, and Paul says, uh, you know, which, well then, what, what baptism, what, what baptism were you baptized into or something like that? And they said, John's baptism. And Paul said, John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. He told the people to believe in the one coming after him, that is in Jesus. You know, and, uh, and, and, uh, and so, uh, and then, then when they, when they, so when they, when they believed in the name, when they were baptized in the name of Jesus, Paul laid his hands on them and the Holy Spirit came on them. So like, it's amazing. It's like the proper information matters. You know, it's like, it's, it, it, you know, it, it even shows the importance of being baptized in water. And this, when they were to, that's, that's a reference to baptize, being baptized in water when they said they were, when it says they were baptized in the name of Jesus, they were baptized in water. And then Paul laid his hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. So like, so like the receiving of the Holy Spirit was linked to obedience. They, you know, you know, the word says to be baptized, you know, and also to be baptized accurately in the name of jesus it's like so like information does matter it's, you know so like you know and i'm linking that that portion of scripture to also the sinner's prayer because like the sinner's prayer is frowned upon by some people you know in the body of christ and uh but i i use it all the time i think it's effective because what it's doing is it's giving people information people need to know what's what's you know what the deal is you know and it's like it first first corinthians 15 Paul says, uh, the, he mentions, the, the gospel I preach to you is that uh, Christ died for sinners, all right? And you, know, and you need to believe the gospel I preach to you and hold firmly on what you, on what you were told, uh, otherwise you've believed in vain, all right? So it's amazing. So like even in, in, in that portion of scripture, you know, Paul is saying that, you know, you, you can, you know, you can lose, you can lose what you've, you know, you know, you can get saved, but it doesn't mean you're, you know, it's like you've, you've got to hold firmly to that, to believe, you know, keep believing that till the end. Otherwise, you've believed in vain. It says it right there. And also, it's, you know, he's saying this is the gospel I've preached to you, telling them that Christ Jesus died for sinners. You know, you, you need to believe that. So, like, so like when I'm leading somebody in a sinner's prayer, I tell them the gospel. Christ Jesus died for your sins. You, you're, you're in need of a Savior. You know, when they understand the gospel, then lead them in a sinner's prayer, acknowledging this, you know, confessing. You, It's important to confess with your mouth. It's like, uh, you know, you. the word says, you You know, Jesus Jesus said, uh, you know, he who confesses me, I will confess before my Father in heaven. That's the words of Jesus. And then, it, it, you know, there's also a scripture that says that, that there were Jews that believed, but, but for fear of the Jews, they wouldn't confess his name. You know, uh, because they love the praise of man better than the praises of God. You know, so like, so there were, you know, so even though they believed, the, the implication is they weren't saved because they never confessed his name. You know, confession, you know, that's why I'll use also Romans 10. If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You know, so like, so like, you know, getting the right information, understanding the gospel, getting the right information, and, and, and praying or sinner's prayer, confessing with your mouth, is, is it works. It's vital. The Word supports it. You know, the, the Word doesn't say pray a sinner's prayer, but like those scriptures and many other scriptures support the, the, the whole idea of, of understanding what it is that's going on with the gospel and confessing freely that you understand it and receive it with your own mouth, you know. So, so I just, those are two subjects that I, that I, I, that were on my heart and I just wanted to share with you guys. So I hope it uh, helps and encourages people. Amen.